Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a 12 ounce glove shootout with the Pro Force Leather at the Fist Rage Metallic and the Sanable Essential Gel Boxing Gloves. Now, let's let's do it. First off, the Pro Force Leather Rat Gloves. Now, these ones I did a review on, but they were in green, so you don't get a very visually different glove from this. I just got put this one out because it was the first one I found. Which the green ones are still here, but for but I just wanted this, so it's not different. About it's not any different. So yeah. Anyway, with these gloves, they were made by Proforce and you can find them off of the AWMA website, which is Asian World of Martial Arts, and they are known for making sparring gear, ki sparring gear, kicking pads, pads, and kicking targets, and even martial arts weapons, and they pretty much do a good job on those. And I use some of their sparring gear in my karate classes, and I think that they do a good job in making some karate friendly material with this said i'm not too sure about these gloves though i mean of course they're 12 ounce so we can't expect to use these in sparring so yeah especially if you're like somewhere in the 14 ounce glove range in terms of your weight and height but as but even if you're in the 12 ounce glove range. I'm not sure if I would recommend these, especially if you're serious about trying out boxing. S somehow the padding on this feels a little bit awkward to me, <laughs> but I'm, but that's, but I'm just speaking what I know. So speaking my mind about this. So yeah, but inside does feel comfortable in a way, but I'm not sure if I would put these above any other 12 ounce gloves that I own. So yeah, guys, I do respect them as a company, Pro Force, but I'm not sure if I would rank these above any other 12 ounce glove, at least any other ones that I have. So yeah, these are just the, my own thoughts on this. Now, would I use these for bag work? Well. Sure, I could use these for the bag. I just wouldn't use these for any sp sparring or pad and bag work. Uh, for for me, per at least for me personally. So yeah. Now on to the next one. On to the next glove. Alright, here you go. The next glove are the Fist Rage, the yeah, the Fist Rage metallic boxing gloves. About these gloves, about the Fist Rage gloves, well, I've reviewed these, as you can pretty much tell from what my profile pick is like, and just from watching my videos, you know that I reviewed these, and what I can gather from these gloves is that I like the way these look. These are one of my favorite boxing gloves in terms of looks and also the color on this is pretty cool like I'm a fan of gr of the color green or wearing green so this one's definitely hits my color sweet spot and my overall aesthetic sweet spot in terms of gloves although I do like simple gloves too but these ones just popped out at me and just gave me a wow factor. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on this glove because we've already been there. But how I feel about this glove, I do like it. It's actually grown on me quite a bit. And the padding on here is very uh, shock absorbent and soft enough for me to to definitely use it on the bag pretty well. This is a 12 ounce glove, so this is not gonna be used at sparring, but 
How does this do? I think it will do ooh, pretty well in terms of an outranking the glove that I discussed. But th as far as ba bag and pad work, these can hold their own pretty well. So I do have a lot of good things to say about these gloves. So yeah, I definitely think that find these one of the better gl gloves that I owned in the 12 ounce range. I Although I don't own any other ones that are in the 12 ounce range, I still think that these are one of the best that I've owned. So yeah, these are the pretty, the better 12 ounce gloves compared to the Pro Force ones I have. So yeah, let's get, so yeah, I think these are some of the best ones out there. Or so anyway, let's get on to the last glove. Without further ado, here it is. Any, yeah, one of the most popular or budget gloves out there, and I would call it the king of budget gloves in terms of popularity and price, and the Amazon raves about it. May I present to you the here? I haven't reviewed these gloves yet, but here we go. I haven't reviewed these gloves, but the Sanable Essential Gel Boxing Gloves. Now. I'm not going to go into too much of a review. I know it sounds risky for me to talk about a glove which I I've not re haven't reviewed yet, but these have been on my shelf for quite a while, so I've been kind of due for a video about these gloves. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, these gloves uh, about them, I'm just going to give you my first impressions on them right now. So the in-depth review is going to come a lot later, but here are my first impressions of these gloves in terms of this versus the other glove. Well, the gel padding right here, it's very shock absorbent, and I think I can even hit the bag pretty well with this, knowing that my hands are going to be protected. And so that's one another good thing that is going for Santa Bo as we speak, and... Although the outside is synthetic leather, it is very smooth looking, and I do like the overall aesthetic of this glove. I mean, it just has a very unique look to it, as you can see right here. So, yeah, the lines and just the mix of white, black, and green right here, they're pretty cool. And these aren't the only sanable item that I own there are some some focus mitts I have by them as well as shin guards MMA gloves and just MMA training shorts too that I own by Sabo oh yeah there's also the head headgear that I own by them so yeah I've pretty much gotten a lot of Sanibel gear late from a few years ago that is still new we used but anyway yeah so i still have a lot of sanable gear as we speak so yeah guys so about sanable is well it's a very budget friendly glove right here and for good reason too i think for what it's worth it does do a very good job at being a good introductory glove for anybody who's wanting to start boxing and wanting to figure out if it's for them. And about my first impressions on them, they actually feel very good. And, I, and I've and i not really done a lot of bag work with them. I mean, I've done some white tapping with this on the bag just because, well, I just didn't have to. I, and I've done a little bit of white tapping with this glove. And quite frankly, I think this is a very cool glove that I would enjoy doing an in-depth review on at a much later time. So yeah, Sanibel Essential gloves, these have a very good first impression on me. And it's kind of weird that I'm talking about this now because they, they have been on my shelf for a while and even on my list of gloves to review. But because this is a 12 ounce glove shootout, I just wanted to include this as a little preview of what's next for a glove review so yeah sample essential is pretty cool 
I also like the profile of it too. It looks very neat as you can pretty much see. So yeah, 12 ounces right here. So anyway, about the 12 ounce gloves that I am talking about, oh, with, all right, with Fist Rage, Pro Force, and Sanibel, these gloves, so now with these gloves, with Pro Force, Fist Rage, and Sanibel, these are the 12 ounce gloves that I own. Now, which one do I prefer? Well, I'm not too sure about this one because I'm because it's not exactly the one that can live up to these two, really. Especially the Sanibel ones because Sanibel, as you pretty much know, is a very popular brand on Amazon and they've been supplying bu more budget-minded or introductory boxers lately and they've also sponsored tony jeffries with which is very cool which is cool since which is actually a very big thing since he's a bronze medal boxer it at the in the olympics so yeah so so that's a very big deal and i love tony jeffries videos he's kind of helped me in my terms of my craft so yeah big shout out to him but so yeah i wouldn't put this above any other glove now versenable and fist rage it's kind of hard like of course this glove fist rage i do like the metallic green of this but this one is very good on its own so yeah i think this one in terms of budget is better because this is like a few dollars less well this one you still get a good price 29.99 you can't go wrong on it anyway especially if you're in a especially if you're in a pinch and want a very popular and well-received boxing glove you definitely would want to get one of these uh, especially because i i think that this is probably one of the budget friendly gloves that people would want to have in their collections what but i wouldn't kick the fist rage ones out either so yeah so these two are pretty much my top two 12 ounce gloves fist rage and sanibel so yeah i wouldn't exactly choose one over the other but i think in terms of budget and color I would choose this one and I do have to admit the padding on this is very good on its own it's actually a bit softer compared to the Sanibel ones but I think the Sanibel gel is very good in terms of protecting my hands too so you do get to see that type of thing going for it as well so yeah my top two gloves in the 12 ounce range are the Fist Rage and the Sanibel gloves. Now, I'm going to do a review on this one a lot late, a lot sooner. Now, I'm going to do a review on this one later, but you've probably seen my Fist Rage review if you haven't. So, yeah, guys. The, so, yeah, guys, you've seen my thoughts on these gloves, but you're going to see my thoughts on the San, these ones oh, later on. So, yeah, guys, so that's just my thoughts on these gloves, as in these three gloves. And if you have any questions or concerns or just overall comments on either one of these gloves or this 12-ounce shootout review video, then leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And be sure to hit, and I'll be sure to make more content for you all later. Till then... And I'll, and I'll be sure to make more content for you guys later. So until then, have a nice day. So be sure to hit subscribe for more content. And I'll see you later with the next video. Yeah, and I'll see you later with the next round of videos. Take care.